This is a 31 years old female with history of primary infertility. TVS ultrasound is done at 9th day of the menstrual cycle. The left ovary is visualized. Its size is 39 mm. This is normal. There is a well defined follicle of size 16 mm in the ovary. This is thin walled, filled with clear fluid. At the ninth day of the cycle, this is a good growing follicle that can mature and patient can conceive. The right ovary is also normal and there is no any growing follicle. There is no free fluid in the cul de sac. The uterus size is 10.2 cm. This is enlarged. Normal size is less than 9 cm. Endometrium is 8.2 mm. This is within normal limits. In the uterus, we see a well defined fibroid. This is of size 4.8 cm. Its location is from mid to upper third uterine segment and is pushing in the uterine endometrial cavity from anteriorly. This is the submucosal fibroid that grows beneath the inner lining of the uterus and into the uterine cavity. These are the rare among all other types of the fibroids. Submucosal fibroid can cause symptoms even when they are very small. The submucosal fibroids can distort the uterine endometrial cavity. They can cause bleeding problems and fertility problems. So in this case we see that patient develop good follicles. And this submucosal fibroid is the main cause of infertility the patient is suffering. So the submucosal fibroid must be removed. Instead of major surgery, the stereoscopic resection is simple, safe and effective treatment if possible.